how to create a new project on Basecamp. So this is what you would use if you wanted to create a new project workspace. So say you've got uh, maybe a new client, new project starting up, and you want to set up your workspace. What you would do is you, you first log in and you get to this overview page, which shows everything. All your projects are down the side here. Just go to the Create a New Project button. Create a new project. So you can name it, and we'll call this one the Lunch and Learn Demo. And then you can decide who should have access to it. So for our Lunch and Learn Demo, we don't necessarily need to give all of our clients access, but you could if you wanted to or you could create a new company. Um, but what we'll do for now is we'll just, we'll just give access to Rethink. And then we'll create the project. And then your project is created. Uh, so before we go adding messages and to-dos, milestones, reports, and files, what we'll do is we'll go into people and permissions. And this, what this does is it invites people who are on the team into the workspace. And here's all the people who we have them rethink. So what you could do is if you say you needed to work with, say Tiffany was on your project team, you could add a new person. First name. It. So, first name, last name, email. Should we give her automatic access to all new projects? No. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then add this person. So, right now, Tiffany will get an email that says, Welcome to Basecamp, and she'll go through and she'll have to go and sign up and choose her username and password. Now here's a list of everyone in Rethink who's on Basecamp right now. And you can choose who to give access to. So Dave, okay, we'll give him access to the project. So that's basically how you choose a project team. 